That's just a YouTube thing which I have to do at the end of each video. Right, welcome back to Episode X Climax with Captain JJ back in the helm. We've done Big Fang, now it's on to my niggas out with the Red Gazelle. Yeah, same principle. It works on exactly the same principle, except you've got an extra machine. You've got two machines, two spare machines instead of one. See, I only got three off there, so that doesn't count. So anyway, Mighty Gazelle is a cyborg. Because of the great accident in the game continuity, he becomes a cyborg. But in the anime continu continuity, even, I am saying completely the wrong words there, my apologies. In the anime continuity, Falcon Densetsu, it turns out he was a human beforehand. He was a human. But he got involved in an unfortunate incident. But it turned out it was related to what happened in episode 11. And if you want to know about episode 11, someone called Rory Hughes, who is Clank's father, got blown up got blown up in a tanker ship who as he was on a mission to um, against Dark Minion at the time and just unfortunately Captain Falcon appeared at that point Falcon got the blame for it but it wasn't down to him as shown in the flashback sequence anyway episode number 28 is first up for him he gets rebuilt by a certain doctor at the invitation of Black Shadow because Black Shadow kept his brain yeah, work out how. Yeah, just work out how he managed to do that. Right. Only one is probably your favorite. It's probably your favorite episode of the series. Yeah, I get it completely. It's just a complete fest. But we're going off topic here for that one. So the doctor revised uh, Hughes, but he's now stuck in a metallic body, as shown here, and he's known as. Um, I go in a diagonal pattern. I start from bottom right and I go to top left. It's going to be different next time round though. I do it in a completely different order just to um, not get it stale. But it always ends with the blue falcon. It always ends with the main protagonist. I know what order I'm going to do platinum mode, but I have to complete all the goals first. And once I've done the gold, I can do speed running on it. Oh, that's not the way I want to go. But yeah, Mighty Gazelle, Red Gazelle does struggle a bit with the um, with his with his body here. The body is an E grade in comparison to A boost and C boost. So this is going to be a bit of a struggle if I don't get in the period, which I've just done. That's absolutely fine. Now I've got to make sure I get back. Anyway, Gazelle gets repaired by the Doctor. And he makes his first proper appearance in episode 29 as part of the mobile platoon squad and in lead police. But all is definitely not what he seems of him. As it turned out though, Black Shadow had put some... Uh, what do you call it? Brainwashing material inside a gazelle. While he initially acted good, he soon turned a bit evil against his will. If you're, good, if you're on the side of good and you get told, oh, I couldn't say, if you get put on the side of evil as well after being good for such a long time through, and then you lose your body through no fault of your own, and in unfortunate circumstances, yeah, it's going to take it out of you. Can't hit a wall here. But yeah, I've got to do that something. I've got to keep it even. So, that machine's out of the way. So, he then falls back into the hands of Black Shadow at the end of the episode, so we don't exactly know what happened to him at that point. For a little while, anyway. Uh, in reference to your question, uh, Leonor, I start on the bottom right and go to the top left in a diagonal fashion. Now it's on to Key Break, which is the Sand Ocean Train. I didn't, I did not get the speed for the double tap dive, so I couldn't use it. But I still got one machine off. 
which is James McLeod. Dr. Stewart, yes, you may have done a few good things to me, but there's no need to get in the way. And some of them are going to fly off. Quite a few of them did, actually. But good buddy, Captain Falcon did not. Kept a wide line so that I didn't fly off. So what I'm trying to do is hit all the dash space here because these trucks are scaled quite large in comparison to their X count in comparison to their climax counterpart. That's where the diff that's where quite a bit of the difficulty comes into it because of the scaling. Okay, so that's good. So, at the end of episode 29, he gets taken back to Black Town and put into a, one of those weird tank things. You probably saw it. No, I don't think you've quite seen one of those. Yeah, one of those storage tanks that Darmin likes to use. But yeah, that's a good, that's a good machine. That was a good usage there. Took up a cloud, but yeah, my cloud was just peep squeak. Still, and also one of those other ones who fell off. So, they've not got all of the board yet. Sit down's next up. Oh dear me, those wrist clickages are really, really interesting, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I got two of them off. So that was, that, that was actually going to... Oh. Do you know what? That was so close to me being destroyed just then. Have to go for the pet area for safety. Which is a bit annoying, really, because I would have loved to hit the dash plate. But safety first. And I would have loved to knock those off. Yeah, that wasn't a good lab, but it wasn't all necessarily down to me, though, which is a bit of a shame. And again, that didn't quite work out. Okay. Yeah, so C guys do kind of work here. Oh, I had C grip. C gray grips do kind of work here, and also Gazelle is quite nimble, so this should work out. So Gazelle doesn't make any appearances after, well, too many appearances after. So I think he only makes like a, one more major appearance in the anime after episode. After his escape from 29. Uh, he was brief. So you don't really see too much of him at that point. It wasn't until episode 34 that he came back onto the um, scene. And because of the incident, with, because of what happened um, with um, Black Shadow and Co, he had to have his brain completely um, wiped. So you would be starting everything again from scratch. So essentially you were a newborn when you've got to relearn everything. Ego next up, this will be hard. And I'm telling you why it's hard. Ego body. Oh, it was actually Mrs. Arrow, not uh, Super Arrow. It's an easy mistake to make with those machines. So similar. Oh, Michael Chain, you are a troll. Oh, got my oldest friend Falcon off in here. This is not going to be very popular with me. I mean, it was the only one I could have hit, but really, after all that, I hit I hit a few people. Falcon was probably the least person I wanted to hit there, but never mind. That challenge going for a dip. So anyway, Eagle Circuit is possibly the hardest trap for us all. Simply because of the fact that uh, the AI—it's a long—it's a long track, and it's and it's difficult to get right too. I don't know. I have to heal.
but those machines destroying themselves are definitely going to be, well, handy, but definitely don't hit a strange machine while I'm at it. Oh dear, I know. I'm going to hit another strange machine as well. That was literally a three machines just destroyed themselves just now. It's so difficult to keep yourself alive on this track. Skull's going to be another one to go. So you've really got to find your pit area when you can. I've got the lead now. But yes, Gazelle's nimbleness is definitely helping out here. King's gone. It would kind of help if I can actually hit these dash plays, wouldn't it? So, 10 now. Definitely push forward because I'm not lifting up on the ground at this point. Oh, Nelson's gone. <sighs> but yeah, I managed to get three of them. But yeah, that track's tough. I think only nine eventually got to the end. Yeah, nine. That's not many. On to Lost Rainer, the final track for Gazelle. There we go. There we go. Excuse me. So Illusion Lost Way is the final track. It's based on Lost Way 3 of Climax of the Master Cup. It's amazing what happens when people are going the same route. Anyway, episode 34 came back and started to attack uh, View and Jack again. Just like he did in episode 29. But he hasn't been stopped this time around by Captain Falcon after Jack and Ryu couldn't stop him. So Falcon had to bail him out again. Not that he wanted to, but he had to. And Ryu just goes on his merry way. Probably taking a dim view out of it. Because of all the incidences that have happened, Kite. Doesn't accept that Gazelle is his father. But he had been assigned to um, teach him everything again after Gazelle was brainwashed because of Darminion's um, influence. So, Gazelle's brain was white and he would have to go through it again. Go through the teaching process as Clank rather reluctantly. Had to try and help him. Initially, it didn't go very well with Gazelle uh, losing Clank, make losing Clank's prized uh, pendant during, while doing the cleanup. The pendant you saw in episode 11 has a picture of his dad, of his father, and Clank himself. You saw that in episode 11 when it opened up when Captain Falcon found him after seeing him use that dragon bird and that. So. Sometimes it's very difficult to concentrate. Sometimes it's very difficult to concentrate when doing these things. But however, when looking at the pendant, when he was trying to find it in the garbage truck, along with Jackson Numbers, who afterwards always... You definitely know Jackson being well when that happens. Yes, quite, quite, quite. But it was dependent when it opened up that we, um, oh, what's the word, that made um, Mighty Gazelle remembered who he was. He was Clank's father, and is Clank's father. And so when we saw him again afterwards, uh, towards the end of the episode, he was driving, yes, at everybody, but he was driving to see Clank. But of course, he managed to find him and gave him a big um, fatherly hug, which Clank kind of immediately recognised. Because it was the same grip and it was the same hole that his uh, father used to do. 
And then, while there was a touching reunion, a certain individual uh, gets involved and tries to bomb the place. Everybody manages to get to cover safety except for Gazelle and Clank, and Gazelle protects Clank at the cost of him being, well, inoperable for a while. Third place, Antonio Gusta with the Green Panther. Second place, Pika with the Wild Goose. And last but not least, the winner is Mighty Gazelle with the Red Gazelle, driven by myself. But don't worry, don't worry about Gazelle, it gets better. That looks like it's from either 29 or 34, I don't know which one it is yet. Machine choice. Um, yeah, Miguel, you've got to, um, I need to change that. You have to state it as well. I need to change that on the on-channel thing. But anyway, if you did enjoy the video, subscribe, leave a like, and share the video around. It helps us all. I think I've already done, 